Start recording, okay. MiG-29 again. We're going to be uh, strafing using the unguided rockets to uh, destroy some ground targets. How to engage ground targets with rockets in a 30mm cannon. Air to ground mode 7. Weapon release is space bar. Okay, let's go. See if I can hit something, for God's sakes. Before we start, ensure you have weapon release map to something other than space bar. If you cannot hear me, press escape, select options, then audio tab. Turn down the world and hit cockpit sound levels to zero. Welcome to air to ground rockets and guns. This should be a walk of the park. We run with four 80 mm S8 rocket pods. Each pod has no to no ground rockets. We have two pods each with 80 mm or 80 mm ground. Okay. Eyes on the hand for what change. Seven to enter air to ground. Let's take a closer look at the front. Bottom left, GMB, is in ground attack. Light blue, is in current in CSAP 2. Whatever air to ground weapon you have selected, will impact by the circle in the hands. The circle is the continuous looking impact point of CSAP 2, but also known as the pit line. The S8 pole bottom right of the hut shows you the A few ways, and four dots will show you are on the four rocket parts. And make one of my new changes to S8 FPS, which are the HP Frag Rockets, and Space Bar to continue. Okay. The S8 COM are good against sliding on vehicles. The FP2 is excellent against SSVs, Sosky vehicles but trucks and jeeps and also against troops in the open. Now press C to select the 30 mm cannon. You get a gun on the left hand corner of the hub. Otherwise, everything is the same. Press C again to deselect the cannon and revert to rockets. Take a quick look at your ordnance by going outside. Press F2. The parts look identical. Press F1 to return to the cockpit. And then press space bar. When you do, I want to pop the back one notch page down, then if you bend the time, around 10 feet to this down. I want you to look to the left side of the hub, there are three ways of characters. On top, you will see a hollow panel. This is the way for the pivot of the hub. Below that, two flat bars. These are maximum fire markers. If you press D, you can see the pivot move, the hollow arrow panel, right, and the two right. You have control. Pull the power back a lot by pressing the edge down. Goes down to 10 degrees. On this side, you should get a solution about 550 meters altitude. Note the HUD symbology a hollow arrow, batch arrows, body, and the targets. Climb that way back up to around 1000 meters. You can repeat this with the arrow by pressing C. Very similar symbology. You then look at D select C, press D, so you have FP2 over G1 meters, bottom right hand corner of the HUD. I press the space bar. The head of you is a large lake. On the near shore, part of the red swing is a couple of wind lighting and trucks. All in large lake. Perfect timing for FP2s. So make sure the hub on the bottom right hand corner says SA for FP2. If you don't attack these, you can design a bank of 10 to 20 degrees. When you are higher, not only can you fire the final bank, Better accuracy and steep drive angles. As we have fun, the drive angle should let our horizontal oh, computers be started. Oh, there it is, right there. We start at 2,000 meters. We should use 20 degrees. 2,000 meters, 20 degrees, and so on. The keys to accurate rocketry are trim and narrow. Right, okay, over to you. You will enjoy this. It should be deadly if you get it right. Press the space bar.
impressed with this MiG-29, I think it's a fantastic plane, better than the um, F-15, flies a lot better anyway, there's another one destroyed, whatever that was, yeah, 8.8, on eight, destroyed. I've got any rocket stuff? I don't think I've got any rocket stuff, where's the toy in the uh, back around. This is fantastic in VR, I'll tell you that. It's just simply not around. M double one three. Let's see if I can take that one out. Переведи в 
Got that full power, it's sunny on half throttle there. Awesome plane. The big twenty nine S. Got any more rockets? Thank <laughs> you. 